I'm Lillian Cho, and I was the executive director for the Asian American Arts Alliance uh, since 1996 through 2010. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of these photos you're going <laughs> to show me. I'm very curious. Oh my God, this is crazy. That was in front of our old offices. That building doesn't exist anymore. But it was a loud space. We were on the second floor, or third floor, and you know people used to think I was on the streets talking to them because in a payphone because it's right at the intersection of Canal <coughs> and Varick, which is right where people queue up to go into the Holland Tunnel. And then the space was an old building, so you know you'd have the heaters going on, you know, full blast, and it'd be you know, 100 degrees in there, so you have to, in the middle of winter, you'd have to have the windows open, or the heater would be off completely. We wouldn't have any heat, and people would be in their gloves typing away with their half gloves. <laughs> what do you call those gloves, those half mitts? And it was freezing in there. This is at Union Square Park uh, for the, the annual APAH, um, APA Heritage Festival. Our logo was the Ting. It was kind of like a, not a communal pot, <laughs> but in a way of a sharing of some kind. September 2002, so right after 9-11, there was a group of people gathering together anyway, and there was idea, the idea of how can we come together as a community to look at um, the, the, uh, the potential of bringing cultural arts and other sectors to um, create a cultural space. This was the steps of t um, City Hall. Um, Alan Gerson had kind of pulled together uh, several meetings, public meetings, and um, you see H.T. Chen there, uh, Margaret Chen, um, who's now city council member. And one of the things that people really agreed upon was the idea of culture and the power of culture to bring people together. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is one of our... One of our artist salons, like Spotlight series, and um, it brought different kind of communities together. Um, and we feature showcased artists who are doing things collaboratively and um, in different disciplines. And here, it's that's Rudresh and Sachs, and it was the group that um, I think Vijay had pulled together. It was an amazing night, and you know the the point was for there to be kind of a mini showcase and that people would also get a chance to talk. So it was a mixed crowd and we try to get, as, as we always try to do, kind of new audiences, people who are real kind of hardcore jazz enthusiasts or artists that are part of this community to people who really just want to see different art. In a way, again, to kind of engage artists directly and have the more interaction happening in smaller settings because as a service organization, we're doing kind of things behind the scenes, but we needed the artists to come together. So this is one rendition of getting people together. This was a, a press conference we had when we launched Culture Pass with uh, support actually from the Arts and Business Council to some extent and um, several different corporate sponsors, but really the idea was, oh, okay, all these artists, we have been promoting all these arts groups doing their work, and um, we needed something in uh, physical print to kind of help and reach out to different audiences in a way that's more concrete and pull it together as a somewhat festival or a pass so that it seems more accessible. This is actually a uh, sound fest. We were um, lucky enough to receive a grant from Rockefeller Philanthropic Advisors. We had done, done all the, you know, the culture passes. We had been doing work in Chinatown. We kind of pulled it all together. You know, we had submissions from all over, and we wanted to show kind of the range and diversity of artistic projection in the music arena. And it was, it was great. I mean, you had, you know, happy, fun smile there, and that, I think that's Koba. Taya was emceeing, as was uh, um, Kelly Tsai, which they did a great job. And it just, it was an all day thing. It was in the, in the southern, southern part of uh, Columbus Park in Chinatown. It's a gorgeous day. 
we had you know you know all kinds of press there and people dancing and uh, people sing, you know sitting there the families it was, it was a great day we started uh, back a few years ago um, we ended up doing kind of four kind of gala type things this was the second big event it was at the Tribeca rooftop so it was just kind of like this star-studded night with a lot of really great energy and you know taking from kind of like a small salon event to bringing it to kind of a you know fancy event the fact that we could fill a room of 400 people who would pay for tickets to to come celebrate the arts is you know i think it's, it was a very uh, uh, exciting moment for us but um it uh, you know we felt that it was part of you know what we did too to bring people together you know so it's all different circles and in order to have more artists being supported we need to have an audience that actually can support it financially as well as in other ways and just even kind of um, recognizing uh, the, the contributions they've made so from you know people who are kind of rising in their field uh, that people don't know about to you know emerging artists to people who we know where your you know your community comes from where your base is everyone every artist needs a kind of community to tap into to to kind of cultivate their art and get to a point of their own success levels of success so there's town hall and here we are to more contemporary <laughs> um, times town hall really picked up it was kind of like there was uh, just it was just the right thing people really needed it it was a brilliant idea and I the brainchild of Nico and our program director who came in with guns blazing and <laughs> and we started this great program which just took off you know monthly town halls where the community got together artists had a time to pitch um, projects or funders had time to talk about uh, you know upcoming opportunities it was just whatever, and you know, people who inevitably everyone everyone speaks at these town halls. They just want to share something, and the idea of potluck would kind of go with the whole theme of a community coming together. And really, you know, kept kept proving once again, again and again that there was a need for kind of a multidisciplinary artistic community to kind of gather physically. Here's an opportunity, a regular place. Uh, regular time to come together, which was really something I think the community needed. It's nice to see that people who don't know each other from different worlds can come together and find that connection right away. And that, I think, feeling is definitely um, resonates in the programming that we do. And I think the people who come to these events or who you know are part, part of town hall feel that kind of energy, um, either from each other or from that kind of ethos that we have. I think it's important. I've always believed that um, the whole time that I, I was there, and I still believe it. I still believe in that idea of kind of growing this community. And, you know, look, look back, it's very simple.